I think teachers, like librarians, are tired of being attacked for doing their jobs. We will no longer stand on the sideline and refuse to address the undeniable and inexcusable fact that we have failed our Arkansas students. This bill takes the moral high ground. This has been the most collaborative, comprehensive partnership on a piece of legislation that I've ever witnessed. In that members who are not even people on this committee received advanced copies of this bill on Friday, and we received ours Monday afternoon. It makes no sense. Teacher appreciation! Well, I believe the, the, the children, the students, are suffering. Now you're thinking about an image, some type of image that Not believe, I know. And that's not good for our country. That's not good for democracy. We need to all be together so we can all know how to relate to one another. This bill will allow students to go to a school that meets their educational needs. How do we get our schools from under the control of a charter school? Are they there as a layout? That would be part of the contract. This is about giving school districts flexibility, the ability to innovate on their own at the local level. Pull some of our below basic students and leave our advanced and proficient students alone. Then we can say, yeah, you're a great school. It doesn't matter whether it's a charter school or whatever. It's the intent of the person. We are constitutionally bound to provide an adequate and equitable education to all Arkansas students. This bill sets us up for future lawsuits for failure to do that. Excuse me, how do you feel about that? We're not doing any interviews today. You need to talk to the Attorney General's office with any questions that you have. And they have given us a promise of accountability that our kids will be educated. A transformation contract or just plain old charter is not going to make those changes. Or it's going to take us. Oh, pretty, y'all too? Okay, let Mr. Joe hang. He might go teach you how to do something.